If you or anybody you know got a brand new Xbox for Christmas and they took it out of the box and they tried setting it up and it's giving them so many issues, hopefully these solutions will help you because they help me. So I got H a new Xbox X series for Christmas. He took it out of the box last night, tried to set it up. And the first thing it would do is it would turn on, the Xbox logo would come on, it would load for a minute. And then it said there was a problem with the update, meaning that the Xbox needed to be updated. So it's like, okay, it said check network, try again, or uh, turn off console. But when you click on check network, it would say this, can't connect with a static IP address. So if you got to this point and you've already restarted your modem, you already restarted the Xbox and did like a factory reset on it, then this is what we did. We took the Xbox from the living room up to the room where the modem router is and connected it with an ethernet cable. And once you did that, the update was able to go. So it started updating. Some people had luck connecting to their phone hotspot and that would give the update. But if that didn't work, then definitely try an ethernet cable. So now once the update was ready, we thought, okay, good. So he moved it from that room back to downstairs in the living room and he plugged it in. And now he tried to connect to the Wi-Fi. When he connected to the Wi-Fi, it allowed him to connect to the Wi-Fi, but it, there was no internet. So then we got this error, DNS isn't resolving Xbox server names. So this is how you fix this. You're gonna go to your settings, general, and then go to network settings. Then you're gonna click on advanced settings. Then you're gonna go to your DNS settings. Then you're going to click manual, and you are going to type this in. So the first one is your primary one. So you're gonna type in the primary first, and then it's gonna ask you for your secondary uh, DNS address, and you're gonna type in that second number. After you type those in and you change it and you click OK, it should instantly change and it should be you're good to go and you're connected to your internet. It's ridiculous, honestly, that Xbox or Microsoft hasn't fixed this issue because apparently I looked it up and so many people have the same issue where some people even just return it because they're like, it doesn't work. And there's different settings you have to do with your IP address or your DNS or and different solutions work for different people. I think it's ridiculous. But anyways, I hope this helps you because last night was frustrating trying to set it up and we figured it out. Well, I figured it out this morning, so he was really happy. One other thing I did do was I went into our, logged into our modem router and its settings and everything. Um, and I did change on the IPS static address thing. I did change one of the firewalls to be lower. I don't know if that made a difference because I did that last night when we gave up. But um, I don't think it had an effect on it. So try all this. And if not, then let me know if that didn't work. And hopefully I can help you. But yeah, I hope that helps some of you. And have fun playing your games.